Okay, so these are sort of our sci-fi glasses, I guess, aren't they? The yellow goggles filter out specific wavelengths of light to help them see if any of the corals here do fluoresce. We've got blue lights on. With a regular dive torch, this is what you see. But with blue light and yellow goggles. Oh, look at that. It does work. <laughs> oh, wow. It just jumps out of you instantly, doesn't it? As soon as you pick the torch on, it just picks out different spots of coral. I've never seen anything like it. It reminds me of a 1980s disco. This extraordinary phenomenon is produced by fluorescent pigments found in the tissues of a variety of coral species. That's like multicoloured. There's a huge amount of fluorescence on the reef. I think we're freaking some of the fish out with our blue lights, by the way. Why corals fluoresce is a scientific mystery, but it might be one way they've evolved to deal with the intensity of the sunlight that's bombarding them. One school of thought is that it's likely that the fluorescent pigments in this particular coral we're looking at has a protective function for the very, very strong sunlight. The fluorescent pigments might be screening out some wavelengths of light acting almost like a sunscreen. If these fluorescent pigments are actually protecting the coral algae from sun damage, then it means that there's a very good chance that these coral will remain healthy. The large amount of fluorescence could be another reason why these corals are coping in these hot waters. The marvels of the Red Sea never cease to amaze.